Hello everyone, I hope you're safe and well and warm and up for an hour of the good stuff of round six of the Gallagher Premiership season. Of course, peppered with the usual high-level ramblings of a man who apparently now needs a bovine passport if he wants to travel to Europe, which I think is mean. So they will just take the single point, Bath from tonight. But really, rugby to warm the soul in testing times. These sides set out to entertain and entertain they surely did. Swashbuckling rugby. Thrilling stuff, and Wasps storming onwards and upwards and into Europe on a high. They've beaten Bath by 52 points to 44. Well, the sail bus, it may well still be crunching one or two gears. With a bit of help from Worcester, a very plucky performance from the men from Six Ways. But at least for sale, this is a second straight win. Gloucester last week, back at home here against Worcester this time. The final score at the AJ Bell, sale 20, Worcester 30. For a few hours at least, they will be top of the Gallagher Premiership. I think fair to say if we started with a, a banquet in Bath last night, this was more of a, a microwaveable already meal, but uh, Newcastle will not care. That is a big win for them. They're back to winning ways, and they've seen off Gloucester by 22 points to 10. It's been totally compelling, and Bristol have claimed the biggest of scalps here at Sandy Park. They wanted a test. They got a test and they passed the test. Chiefs beaten for the second week running and the Challenge Cup champions have overturned the Champions Cup champions. Full time at Sandy Park, Exeter 7, Bristol 20. Paddy Jackson decides that that'll do. Backers, London neighbours again and sharing the spoils. It's Finished at the stoop, all square. Harlequins 27, London Irish 27. Well, there's a sight to warm Bristolian hearts. The Bears four points clear at the top of the table. Below the leaders, just a single point separates second and Wasps in fifth. The cancel games mean the table is a bit messier than usual. And some of those cancellations, it could be argued, have worked in favour of a few teams. Conversely, being able to play all their six games certainly hasn't benefited Gloucester, who are still stuck at the bottom.